Good morning, babes. Welcome back to Barb City, where it be hella mother effing litty. Let's go on ahead and get into it. Before we do, as always, remember when in doubt, just pull your mother effing blunt out. Thank you for following us on all platforms, especially right here on Barb City Facebook. You are very much appreciated. Now, Bad Baby did have her baby shower. You guys know she is about to give birth to her first baby girl. Let's check this clip out together. Anybody who came out, like anybody I invited, I really like family. I really appreciate it. Some, this is like a, a real big thing to me. Like it's my first daughter and you know, it's really important. So I want to thank y'all for everybody who came and you know, who came and supported us. Yay! Hold on, we're not done yet. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. I never had no big, crazy, extravagant thing like this. This is very nice. Thank you, Sharonda. <laughs> You're welcome, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Sharonda, for pulling this together. And thank you all for coming. Welcome to our family. Barbara, I love you. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love this for her. I'm actually very happy for Bad Baby, to be quite honest. She gets to have her own baby girl now, you know what I'm saying? After all her little stuff she went through as a young girl. But not only that, I love the father's reaction to his first daughter. Like, I just love that. Dads are normally like that. So it's a good thing to see him having this type of of excitement for his daughter to come. But anyways, congratulations to them. And let's go on into Sexy Red. So Sexy Red actually gave birth to her baby. And I don't remember her announcing if she was having a boy or a girl, to be quite honest. But she did post pictures of herself in the hospital. As you guys can see here, they put a little star over the baby. So she definitely gave birth and there is one picture that i left out of the set of pictures because people had a lot to say about it and i'm not here to talk about that we're just going to congratulate sexy red on her new addition to her family and this is basically what she said me waiting to get discharged from the hospital so i can hit the block with the guy so I'm pretty sure she's just playing. She's going to be out of commission for a little bit, but I don't know. We talking about sexy red. Y'all know how she is. She is lit all the time, everywhere, no matter the situation. But anyways, congratulations to her. And let's get in to 77 cents. And thank you for enjoying Barb City Blooper Rose. We are three minutes in. So y'all already know I will not be starting over. So People are feeling like 77 cents is so corny, okay? As you guys can see here, um, she is going to be releasing a new song. I don't know what it's called. I don't know when it's going to be re releasing or anything like that. If you guys want to find that information out, you guys know you can go and do that research yourselves, okay? Now, with that being said, people are feeling like, girl, can you ever do any type of promotion and release a song without having to attach drama to it, right? You guys know she has been shading Ice Spice. And as y'all can see in the back of her, um, what is this? It's supposed to be like cover art or something like that. Not only is Ice Spice in the background, but you can see Coily Ray. Megan The Stallion, Saucy Santana, Sexy Red, Missy Elliott, the list goes on. I mean, one person you don't see, obviously, is Nicki Minaj, but I'm just like, considering the snippet that she put out with this song, it's just like, why would you use other female rappers as the cover art? And then you sit here and say, oh, you know, I regret the beefs that I've been in. I feel that all the beefs are fan field and stand field. But girl, you're literally attaching yourself to other women every single time you're trying to release something. It's, it's like, it's tiring. Anyway, here were some of the comments. I don't care what anyone says. She's so corny to me. Y'all wonder why, why people ate her so much. 
it's because she's so corny another person said she knows not to put nikki on that and that's just that like girl you really be pushing it but thanks for not putting the queen on there you know i don't have to drag you today anyways let's go on ahead and get into jt so people are feeling like um not jt young miami and jt people are feeling like young miami is yet again being a fake friend to jt now jt's new song sideways is performing very well she's hitting charts that she's never been on before it does not matter if they're small charts big charts she's never been on them so this is good for her and um people are calling out the fact that young miami has not shown any love to sideways she has not done any promotion for jt song but instead started promoting her own stuff and you guys know jt is always supporting every single thing that young miami does and i know that young miami held the city girls down and all of that but that doesn't mean that she gets to start being a fake friend right so anyways as i said young miami did start promoting her own stuff i guess she is entering into a new era called yams okay on her twitter she said welcome to the yams era the yams era is my prime time in the yams we do ginger hair focus on ourselves and get money yams is the new lingo to my fans the yams this is the new us or the new us excuse me look i'm always thinking about Nicki minaj uh taking over charts in the us my bad <laughs> um the yams is the new us drop a yam if you're ready so she's going to start calling her fans the yams and they're going to start wearing hair the color of the yams and stuff like that and here were some of those comments no thanks we're in our jt era it's not giving city girls anymore at all is y'all broken up or something and another person said girl what are you talking about y'all be so quick to slap together some visuals and act like y'all giving us something let jt song do its big one with no distractions that's what i'm saying like girl slow down um, they also said, why you over here dropping nothing and acting like it's something. The F is a yam era. So I don't know, you guys. Let me know if you are going to be a yam, if you're going to be in support. Let me know if you guys feel like um, Young Miami has always been a fake friend to JT. Or if this is just something new, let me know what y'all think. To be quite honest, I feel like at one point, Young Miami really held it down for JT. But ever since JT started showing mad love to Nicki Minaj, I feel like Young Miami's been being fake. Period. That's my opinion. Anyway, let's go on ahead and move forward into the Sympathy Queen, okay? Now, you guys know the Sympathy Queen did just go number one on the Billboard Hot 100 with her new song is right this is new for her none of her music has ever done this well obviously everybody knows that it is because she attached it to Nicki minaj if Nicki minaj would have just paid it dust the song would have been dust just like all of her other music so i want to point out the fact that forbes forbes of all people, Forbes of all things, Forbes of all uh, whatever, publications, whatever you want to call it, literally clock this T, okay? As y'all can see here, they did post this to their very own Twitter account, and it says, Megan Thee Stallion's is debuts at number one, helped by Nicki Minaj feud and multiple versions. So, of course people always release multiple versions all the time but they don't normally do it with a song that they're trying to get to the billboard hot 100 right definitely not a single in my opinion but that is what she did and you can see that forbes posted their very own link right there when you click the link this is what comes up it's a whole article and again says that um, the number one was helped by a Nicki Minaj feud and multiple versions, okay? 
Now, since then, they did change this. So obviously they received a call as you guys can see here. Now it says Megan Thee Stallions is debuts at number one after Nicki Minaj feud. So although they received that call, they were not willing to take Nicki Minaj out of that title. So I give it to Forbes. First of all, let's go on ahead and give Forbes they mother effing flowers out for keeping it real. Just, just, just give a bitch her, her roses, though. I mean, you know I love just you, give man. a bitch her roses. Like, you know what I'm saying? I did. So that um got the scoop said all oh, Forbes why why y'all updated the caption and took the multiple versions and helped by Nicki Minaj feud out the headline LOL who called y'all so thank you got the scoop for clocking out but anyway here were some of the comments not Forbes clocking T one thing about Forbes just like Getty they don't lie. Forbes, why you clock they T like that? Now let's keep it pushing. So Barb's, let's get focused. Let's get back on Pink Friday too. Obviously Forbes clock that T. So there's no way that the general public does not know. Okay, let them play delusional. We all know the T has been mother effing clocked. Clock it, clock it. So don't argue with it, that, okay? Kick them the fuck out. Blocks. Blocks. Now, with that being said, you guys, let's go on ahead and move forward into, of course, the Razzle Dazzle, which always is and forever will be Mother Effin' Nicki Minaj, okay? So I just wanted to read a couple things from a sub... A, 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 a few people that supported her on the Grammy night after they seen what the Grammys did to her. I want to get into Bigfoot's debut, right? And I know that there's going to be a lot more people that pop up that supported her during that time. But all of that is going to have to unravel. But as I see it, I will post it, okay? As you guys can see here, Nicki Minaj's Bigfoot debuts at number three on this week's digital song sales chart with over 35k sold so again digital song sales chart baby number three can you imagine that no video out no paid blogs no paid promotion definitely a surprise drop and people were trying to keep it from going out hint uh the sympathy queen all right, not just that, but Chart Data tweeted Billboard Hot 100 number 23, new Bigfoot at Nicki Minaj. Again, no music video, just like when Super Freaky Girl went number one on Billboard before we got the video, okay? Um, now, let's, oh, congratulations to the queen on that. And let's go on ahead and get into a few people that showed love to Nicki Minaj the night that the Grammys played in her face and definitely played in I Spice's face as well. So JT tweeted, I salute Nicki Minaj for not tapping out and still dropping music, knowing it's so many odds against her. It's big money to end Nicki, but it's a bigger God. Keep being you. Your legacy will never be undone at Nicki Minaj. I love you. So this is why I F with JT now. Not in a way like I'm like buying all her music and pushing her like I do Nicki Minaj. But it's just like ever since she apologized to the queen, she stood on that. It didn't matter what Young Miami or anybody said to her, calling her a dog and everything like that. She stood by Nicki Minaj through Nicki Minaj's toughest times. Like, of course, not during the ink train like we did, but y'all get what I'm saying. So I got to give it to JT on that. Um, Pop Bass tweeted about Drake. So I know Drake meant this towards more than one person, I'm sure, but you guys know that he most likely was talking to Nicki Minaj. They said Drake shares new posts about the Grammys 
All you incredible artists, remember this show isn't facts. It's just the opinion of a group of people whose names are kept a secret. Literally, you can Google in. Congrats to anybody winning anything to hip hop. But this show doesn't dictate in our world. And I agree. And I did mean for hip hop. Excuse me. Thank you, Drake, for that. Because y'all know sometimes he'd be silent when we be needing him to talk. Anyways, Cupcake also reacts to Grammys mistakenly announcing Barbie World as the best rap song winner on their ex account. And she said, just extremely disrespectful. And I agree. Foxy Brown. Um, not only did she show love to Bigfoot by saying, empty the clip, Savannah Flex, run that Nick back, right? So run that Nicky back, okay? Not only did she show love to Bigfoot, but when everything happened for the Grammys, as you guys can see here, Nicki Minaj did reshare, and she said the greatest a Instagram story of Foxy Brown saying, we love you to Nicki Minaj. So I love that. Also, Foxy Brown shared what JT said to her Instagram story as well, as you can see right there. And Fabio Foreign also showed love to Nicki Minaj, saying that she is a legend and that she's lasted longer than a lot of bees could last, okay? lasted a lot longer than a lot of these bees could and that's exactly why she's the queen like everybody want to try to come for her spot but baby did you outlast Nicki Minaj that's the point no you did not do that all right um he also said he says that he f's with her and he shouts her out so yeah thank you for writing that Anyway, I'm going to go on ahead and get up out of here because Barb City Mother F and Blooper Rose be real on point. It depends on if I smoke a blunt or not, but that's for another video. Okay, we're going to go on ahead and get up out of here. I love you guys so much. Thanks.